Should you stream on Kick? Well, there are many things to think about and I'll go through those towards the end of the video. But first, I'm gonna show you how to actually stream on Kick and what the best settings are to have in OBS. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to kick.com, sign up for account. Once you've done that, head over to your creator dashboard, go under settings and then stream key. You're gonna copy this link. You're gonna go into OBS, go to settings, stream, change this to custom and you're going to copy and paste that into the server you're then going to copy your stream key you don't want to show this to anybody that's why it's blanked out go back into obs and pop that in here and click apply so now we want to add the kick chat we're going to want docs custom browser docs just type in kick chat here it doesn't matter and then we're going to go on kick.com forward slash your username forward slash chat room click apply i'm going to want to dock this in obs next you want to type in kick here and just go on kick.com so that we can log in click apply this is going to bring up this box here and you're going to want to log in here once you've logged in there you can close that click apply click close and now just to test it go in the chat box type in hello and there you can see the chat box has worked. Now we're going to want to look at our settings. So we're going to head over to the settings menu. In this general tab, just don't worry about anything really in here. This can all really stay the same. First, we want to go to our video. We're going to set to the base canvas resolution to 1920 by 1080, output resolution to 1920 by 1080. Don't have to do any downscaling. And then FPS, I set mine to 60, but if you find that you're stuttering or lagging, then just set it to 30. It's going to be dependent on kind of the PC that you have. So next you want to go to output. You want to change it from simple to advanced. Encoder, you're going to want to stream on NVIDIA NVENC H.264 or HEVC. Rate control CBR, bitrate 6000, keyframe two, preset slow, tuning high quality, two passes high, turn off look ahead, visual tuning on, GPU zero, max B frames two. Then you want to go to recording and basically you've got the same settings if you want to choose where the recording path is you want the recording format to either be mkv or mov uh, so that if it's mp4 and obs crashes it will corrupt your file with those two formats it won't so that's really important everything's same down here the only thing that's different is the bit rate i set mine to around 10,000. you can probably set this to lower but i would say anywhere from around 10,000 to 20,000 is going to be good uh, for kind of recording a, a high quality video uh, for you to put on youtube or for your clips next you want to move to audio you want to set the audio bit rate to 320 and then finally the replay buffer i'll set mine to 90 seconds and this is going to allow you to set a hotkey and when you press that hotkey um, it will back record all the previous 90 seconds this means that you don't have to record all of your stream to get clips next thing we want to move to is audio you want to set this to 48 and in terms of global audio devices you can disable all these and we'll add the audio later once you've sorted all that want to just click apply click ok now we're going to add some of our sources so we've got our first scene here just going to rename this to uh just chatting we're going to click this plus down here and we're going to add a video capture device we'll call this one just cam one you want to find your camera click ok and there's the camera next thing we want to add is our microphone so we're going to go on audio input capture call that mic one you're going to find your microphone on here. I've got a ton of different inputs here, but mine is under sample. Click OK. There you can see now my mic is there. And that's basically your bare bones just chatting scene. Next one we're going to want to do is gaming one. So we go down and click on this plus icon here. Call this gaming one. What we're going to do is we're going to go back onto our just chatting. We're going to highlight both of these and we're going to copy them a cross so we don't have to re-add them and that means that they'll be linked so now we're going to want to add the gaming source go on the plus here we're going to go on game capture let's call this game one okay we're going to change this to capture specific window and then we're going to find our game so i've got call of duty warzone here what we're going to want to do is just resize that we're going to put that down to the bottom we're going to take our cam resize the camera to where you want you can never have it on the left side or the right side i like mine on the right side here next we're going to want to add our audio so i'm going to go audio output capture 
go on default i know this is my game audio source click ok and there we go my game audio source is created and now we have just kind of a basic setup here we've got a just chatting scene and we've got a gaming scene with our audio now once we're happy with that we're going to head back over to kick we're going to go on stream then we're going to go on edit stream info we're going to give ourselves a title we're going to go under the category and find our game click save and finally to actually start streaming we're going to head back over to obs press start streaming turn on the replay buffer and now just to confirm that we are live we're going to head back into kick refresh the page and there we go that is your stream set up and ready to go on kick and so finally just to give my kind of thoughts and opinions on kick i'm just going to talk about like what i think the pros and cons are right now and what the risks and rewards are for streamers so in terms of the pros you've got things like obviously the 95 5 split it gives creators an opportunity to make more money uh, per sub compared to twitch which is 50 50 and youtube which is 70 30. there are currently no ads on the platform which i know a lot of people don't like on twitch so arguably you could say that the viewing experience is better in that respect um, being a new startup and a new platform you could say that the people like the streamers might have a bigger say in what gets developed on the platform platform and with train wreck at the kind of near the top and having some influence on decision making they might do things slightly differently than twitch and that could be a positive thing and then finally um with it also being a new platform you could say there's less competition and so more chance of discoverability and more chance for streamers to grow on the platform um, compared to twitch so looking at kind of the cons and negatives of kick i think being a startup is one of them um, there's a little bit of uncertainty in terms of the direction of the company and kind of their priorities how much budget do they have how do they become sustainable and and profitable because they're owned obviously by stake um, but nobody knows like how much they are willing to invest so being a new platform there are kind of a lot of bugs and kind of it's not a perfect platform and the problem that they've got is because they've built it to look exactly like twitch people's expectation is that it performs and delivers like twitch and i think there are a lot of questions being asked of kick about when's this feature going to be rolled out when's this going to be done and they're saying yes it's coming it's coming but i guess time will tell and we'll see whether it does come and whether they deliver on people's expectations or they don't another thing that seems to be lacking is kind of moderation i guess safety on the platform i know that's important for streamers and twitch work kind of you might not think it but they work very hard to try and protect streamers kick that doesn't seem to be there at the moment and yeah time will tell to see whether how much priority they put on that in terms of building the team internally and then finally kick i think at the moment just doesn't have um the same brand appeal as twitch um i don't think the community is as strong and that might have a negative impact on a streamer and and their growth because of kicks inability to kind of drive new traffic in terms of viewers to the platform so in terms of like the risk slash reward i think if you're a new streamer if you're a small streamer hasn't built like a decent sized community on twitch i think kick go for it like why not like you've got a better chance of growth there and you can make more money from subs um, and if you end up building a small community and don't like it you can always move over to twitch but i think the risk is relatively low when it comes to streamers that are bigger in size and that have got a community i think the risk is definitely higher the risk is that if you move over people don't follow you and your viewership drops and yes you make kind of obviously a better split but you might find that you move over your audience drops in size and actually even though you make a better split you still don't make that much more money than twitch because you're not getting as many subs because there's also the expectation that kick is going to have the same kind of gifting culture like twitch has um, and we don't know whether that's going to play out or not i think it's only going to be easy to tell um once kind of this like mask like gifting stops happening um that i'm aware of and also another thing which is kind of an issue at the moment and i've heard that there's a lot of view botting going on at the moment and kick has inflated views so it's difficult for streamers to actually get a true understanding of how much of their twitch audience has actually moved over and how many of these people that are watching them on kick are actually bots so time will tell we don't know the answers to those questions yet so we will see and so really it comes down to two things it's do you gamble and go over to kick with the potential of more money but with the risk of the platform not delivering on expectation and your viewership dropping over time or do you stay on twitch kind of the place that you know that's safe and that you trust 
or you maybe don't trust, but you know, trust more, um, but you feel like your revenue potential is being impacted because of the revenue split. And so, yeah, I hope that kind of put things into perspective. If you've got any questions or thoughts around anything I said or want help with the settings, drop them in the comments. But other than that, have a nice day and enjoy the rest of your week.